just now at the tipping point. Is something big going to happen on August? And bread is not allowed in Europe. Today, to defend the hypothesis. In and out. They said go in and out. I just came right over. What if medical schools got their funding from pharmaceutical companies? And pharmaceutical companies taught doctors how to distribute pharmaceuticals. And the FDA had people who worked there who were paid by the pharmaceutical companies after they leave the FDA to go take jobs. And we're all supposed to think these people are super credible. But you don't need a formal conspiracy right. when interests converge. Oh my God. They all have the same agenda. They're going to push the things. Remember, they're just practicing medicine. Welcome back, goons. How's it going? We got more Explore the Weird content. Really uh, creepy, strange, disturbing. We're going to get right into it. Might be a biological difference in people who see the paranormal. Listen to immunologist Gary Nolan. He spent a lot of time looking at the MRIs of brains of UFO experiences and concluded that these people all had more pronounced bundles of nerves at the head of their caudate and putainment. Yeah, that they're basically smarter and they realize what's sitting in front of them and they don't ignore it. No one is saying that there could be something hardwired into these people's brains that allow them to see things that most people don't. What's even crazier is he's saying that the people who have this trait might be attracted to each other and are passing it on through their children. Are we seeing the start of a new species of man? One that can more easily see things which others ignore or brush aside? Or has this speciation already been going on for thousands of years and we're only just now at the tip of point? I don't understand. Did they get probed and that that's why their brain is like that? Or were they already like that? And that wait, is that the question? Is that the question he's asking me? Jack Osborne, what's going on? <laughs> All right, we're going to keep it going. Breaking news all around the world. If you don't know what's going on, you are going to want to watch this. Trust me. Make sure you share this video with a friend because if they miss this, well, it's literally a once in a lifetime opportunity. So you won't see it again. And for that matter of fact, neither will your grandkids or great great grandkids, most likely. So in the movies, you see photos like this, which looks like a break in time and space. And it's incredible. I mean, it's like a wormhole opening. You wouldn't ever see that on Earth, right? Well, normally, no, but this is actually a supernova explosion, which is pretty damn rare and it's happening soon, but not like a normal one. What do you mean? So supernova explosions happen roughly every 80 to 90 years. So still, even that's rare, but they typically aren't visible to the naked eye. You'll need some kind of telescope or to look very, very deeply into the distance. and It's not going to be clear. Now, the last time we saw one was 1987, and the time before that, when it was actually visible to the naked eye, was 1604. Are you mad? Now, they are saying this is literally a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity because, as I say, it is just that rare. You are never going to get another chance like this again. Like, look, this is what they said. Typically, Novas are so faint and far away, you can't even see them, but this one will be really, really close, and everybody from on Earth will be able to see it if you look up. And, yeah, it will literally look like space is breaking or it's a Fortnite event, so, yeah. Now, we don't know exactly when it's happening. They said anywhere from now until September, but in breaking news in the last couple of days, they've said it's going to be visible in the next few days or weeks, so a lot sooner than we actually expected. Make sure you hit that follow button. I will keep you updated. Bros, has this happened? Have you guys seen this? I haven't seen this yet. I, I look up in the sky a lot. I'm always outside. Trust me. Trust me. I have a daughter. She always takes us outside. She wants to be outside. She loves outside. All right, we're going to keep it going. Did anyone else experience this or has this happened yet? Is this still in 2024? We only have one month left. I truly believe the homestead community has mixed what society has conditioned us to be with trying to do the simple life. And don't come for me, here's what I mean. Okay, so like Instagram and Facebook and all of them want you to have fancy barns and lots of money and sheep and cows and donkeys and emus and all the things to claim that you're a homesteader. Then you end up exhausted and overwhelmed and wondering why do you have all these animals and farm and gardening and chores and responsibility and where's my freedom? The truth is the majority of y'all sold your freedom when you decided to keep up with the Joneses in order to be a homesteader. If we want to be true homesteaders, we got to take it way back to great grandma's day. Great, great grandma's day when they grew and raised what they were expertise in. And then they bartered and traded everything else with those in their area. 
And if we got back to that, we could have a simple life again, guys. Guys, I got this. I will make the alcohol. I, I brew my own alcohol. I don't actually drink alcohol. I'm just going to use it to barter so I can get the things that I want. Somebody else is going to need that alcohol, all right? I can make wines. I can make ciders. I can make beers. I can make hard li All right, we're going to keep it. This turned into something. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. Sorry. Goons, if this is your first time, this is ADHD Teddy. Welcome. Make sure you interact with the video. I need your support now more than ever. We're trying to grow. We're trying to grow. American bread is not allowed in Europe because it's not legally classified as bread. Question is, who is to blame here? Is it the company or is it the government? I'd say it's America's insane lobbying. It's a legalized yeah. form of corruption. But that's where I'm a bigger fan of European policy. Here in Estonia, I've had the benefit of meeting various people who work in the government. And I look at the policy that they are enacting. For example, in Estonia, 51% of the country is forested. Everything grown here is certified organic. All yeah. of this is law. I hate to break it to you, but if you live in the United States, and you buy bread. It's not bread. It's a commercial weird product that here in Europe, we cannot even consider food. Okay. Um, are you still going to eat the bread anyway because you don't know how to make your own bread? You stop it. Learn the alternatives. Learn the alternatives. Is something big going to happen on August 8th, 2024? A screenshot behind me is from a video here in TikTok. You can look up and watch the original video if you want. But he's reading a book from a person that claims to be from a secret government project called the Project Looking Glass and saying that it was his job for years to manifest bad things for the US government and that August 8th, 2024, something really bad's gonna happen. And I just wanna mention my two cents on this subject because years and years ago, this has been at least 10 years ago, I used to run Facebook pages and this man hacked my page claiming to be from Project Looking Glass, and he said all sorts of wild things about the future and about his abilities and quantum computers, and I didn't believe it, because he said this before he hacked my page, and then he hacked the page, and only two admins existed. Me and my friend were sat next to each other, but he was instantly on our page and then posting weird things and had full access to my pages. And from that moment onward, I, was, I always had Project Looking Glass in my head, because the things that he was saying, which I don't want to share them now, but his ability to hack my page with his quantum computer, and I don't know, I didn't, and I just heard it over and over, and now this, and this, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, and uh, maybe look more into this, and if you know more about Project look, uh, Looking Glass. Oh my god, goons, are you stuck in this dark prediction timeline? Hop over, project over to our goon timeline. Our goon timeline real good. We're gonna transcend. We're gonna keep it going on August 8th and probably go to August 9th and everything's gonna be fine. Hop over. Unless you want the dark. Then... Alright, I'm sorry. Too long. Too long. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna keep it going. I wake up uh, every night. And there was a great uh, poet. His name was Rumi many, many years ago. He said... Uh, the, the morning breeze has secrets to tell you. Do not go back to sleep. Do not go back to sleep. Do not go back to sleep. And many of the books that I have written, I've written when I've been awakened, and there's something, what is it? What is it that awakens me? It's like almost, I can almost tell you the exact time. It's like, cause I, in a film I did years ago called The Shift, I talk, I, they show a clock, 3.13 a.m., almost to the second every single night there's something is that is that angels is that is that divine source is that someone saying this is your purpose this is the time there's no distractions the thing we most want to say is that we're with you saying that all the time mm. Mm -hmm. so what's interesting to us is that that's the time that you decide to listen right <laughs> and, but there's nobody else around and, to distract and, you. And, and that's the important conversation to have. So what is it about that time? What is it that's happening there that makes you more resonant, that makes you more receptive? And it is that the momentum of your thought has stopped. So there is no contradictory vibration going on within you. So you're more likely to hear. Esther has been saying to herself, when she awakens like that, she will say, am I awake? Because if I'm awake, I am going to... Yo, this is crazy. I also randomly sometimes wake up at 3 in the morning and then now my go-to wake-up hour is like 7 a.m. all the time, every day, 7 a.m. Doesn't matter the day. My body just wakes up naturally. I don't even need alarms. I just wake up. <laughs>
Oh my god, I haven't used alarms in days. I just naturally wake up now. It's so wild. All right, we're gonna keep it going. Today, to defend the hypothesis that these are the most dangerous products in our food supply, bar none. 12 years of scientific investigation and following the science leads me to this conclusion. 2010, one out of three people are dying of coronary heart disease in the US. All right, how about cancer? This is a 62-fold increase in cancer deaths in 200 years. How about type 2 diabetes? This is a 4,643-fold increase in diabetes in 126 years. All right, how about Alzheimer's and dementia? Where are we today? 2023, 55 million cases. One new case every three seconds. How about obesity? 35-fold in 118 years. Why is this happening? Total vegetable oil consumption. This is our published data from 2017. By 2005, 86% of added fats came from vegetable oils. Vegetable oils are rich in omega-6 linoleic acid. Look at the omega-6 climbing from 1.1% all the way to 11.8% by 2008. This is the problem. All right, so that's an 11-fold increase in omega-6 in about 145 years. So these vegetable oils, they accumulate in our bodies and they become pro-oxidative, pro-inflammatory, toxic through advanced lipid oxidation end products and nutrient deficient. They have no vitamins A, D, or K2. This is the perfect recipe for metabolic disease and physical degeneration, period. Wow, that is crazy. I did not know these correlations existed and I'm not sure who this person is and hopefully this is real and this is not an AI generated thing. All right, let's um, make good decisions. Don't use your oils if you don't need to. Coconut oil, real good. So you're telling me that they have a sun simulator in the sky right now and they're able to generate man-made northern lights. think they can't fake Jesus coming back too? Or an alien invasion? Or an asteroid? Whatever comes next. Whatever they've got planned. They're going to need the holographic projectors. That's the thing. The powers are going to be the things that help them. We're going to keep it going. I'm spiraling. My man in and out. They said go in and out. I just came right over. He was like down the street. If you look in the background. This pack. If you look behind me, cars wrapped around the building, lying down there. They taking orders way down there. But they do. Do they got the warning sign here? Yeah. But they try to put a clear coat on it here. Yeah. Boom. There it go. Warning. You see that? I got a clear coat. Certain foods and beverages sold or served here can expose you to chemicals including acrylamide and many fried or baked goods and mercury and fish, which are known to the state of California to cause cancer or birth defects or other reproductive harm. Can y'all see it? Oh, you gotta go right here to see it. Bam! See how they try to put the clear coat acrylic on it? Uh-huh. Gross. You stay safe out there. I didn't even know there were signs like this at the establishments. Yeah, that was very hard to find. This guy doing the real work. See if you can spot one too. All right, we're going to keep it going. I started having oxalate dumping. All these oxalates that I was eating in these massive spinach smoothies that I would have because it's so good for you. The oxalate dumping that I had, it was somewhat painful and it lasted for probably five months. It started in my lower back, started coming up my back, and then it split at the shoulder blades in the back and then came came around over the top of my shoulders and then combined back again in the front and then went down to my navel and then finally just disappeared. And it was, uh, it was not pleasant. Wow, I didn't even know um, spinach and stuff like did this. That's crazy. So does that mean like after the five months you're now healed and everything's good? Do you have to get through the five months? Never mind. The interesting. Do the do with this what you will. Research shows that at 24 hours of fasting, we actually see intestinal stem cells produced. Hmm. So what a stem cell is is it is a cell that can go and repair any any is basically any problem in there. So it will go in and repair the whole internal lining of your gut. The other thing that happens at 24 hours is we see the microbes start to relocate so they're not clumped together, so they start to spread out, which can allow you to start to uh, pull more nutrients in from your foods. And then the last thing that we see is things like candida, things like parasites. It, they don't like an environment where the mucosal lining is repaired, where the microbes have spread out, like you're literally changing the garden in there. And so they're like, we're out. 
we there were like there's this isn't a, a, a great place for us to live anymore and so you naturally will start to see candida die off you'll see um, parasites go away if you dip into these 24-hour fasts well all you have to do is stop eating stop eating and start sun get Never mind. We just just do the thing that feels right. I feel like sometimes it's genetics. Everyone's body's different. Some people eat all they want, and they're completely fine. They don't even need to fast. And others, like me, have issues. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, I uh, gotta stop eating. Uh, at least maybe I'll lose some weight, right? Or is that starvation? So then your body goes into starvation mode and you add even more fat. I'm just gonna keep getting weight. All right, we're gonna keep it going. In the ear, when you have your ear like that, in Chinese medicine, you imagine the ear like this to be like an inverted fetus with the eyes here the hands here you see and the legs here it's like like that and the points here in treatment they reflect every organ in your body so your whole body is present in your ear like that now in ancient times there's nothing called jewelry you wear jewelry here you wear jewelry there no at the time when the door was open, you use things on your body for certain interactions with the forces of nature. So this point here in Chinese acupuncture is called the point of inner light. And if you put some crystals or diamonds here, that means you activate through resonance, you enter into resonance with your inner light. So your inner vision gets activated. And when they had the, the priestesses, the young priestesses in the temples, one of the way to activate their inner vision was to put crystal or diamond here, depending on what you want to, uh, to do, you see. Today, you find people piercing everywhere. Now, that's very, very dangerous. You could completely disrupt the functioning of your physical organs by piercing at this point or at that point or this point. Bro, there's some crazy people that really have piercings everywhere, like Prince Albert. Like, never mind, we're good. Oh boy, oh boy. You know what's crazy? Recently, we actually removed the diamonds from Kyra's earrings so that we, because we had like a scare where we lost one of the earrings and we're like, oh my God, we lost an earring. Ended up finding it later on, but like, can't have this happen again. Diamonds expensive. Switched over to the cubic zirconia and now I'm like, I want her to also unlock this. Never mind. We're going to turn Cairo into a... Never mind. Never mind. All right. We're going to keep it going. Interesting. Bros, what the heck? What the heck? They really got the robots already out, we even in WWE. Is this real? Is this real? Is this guy faking it? Is there more to this? This appears like the perfect cover-up. Or he's really good at faking it. This is why we don't come and buy stuff from stores. This right here, Red Dye 40 and cherries. They're already red. Why y'all putting Red Dye 40? Check this out. This one right here, though, doesn't have Red Dye 40. And if you look, same name brand, right? But look, this has got more fruit. So the one with more fruit has got the red dye 40. Imagine that. Avoid red dye if you can. All right, let's say you went to the grocery store and you bought some organic apples and you took them home and then you found this.
just got to prop it. Can I just flip? I want to keep it continuously recording. I can't see it, but hopefully y'all can see me. There's a sticker. Are you kidding me? There. I'm so grossed out. Thanks, Kroger. Okay, so yeah, that was kind of hard to follow, but like if you, when she removed the sticker, it was appeal. Appeal is like Bill Gates' uh, wax based resin that preserves food, so I guess even organic uh, apples are being coated in that appeal wax based resin you know i'm like you stick back with the bug based uh resin that lack resin i thought that was the healthy kind we've been using that for years right all right we're gonna keep it going my 11 year old son asked me dad can you tell me how the world really works and i said sure you have the rich the middle class and the poor and the middle class actually finances both the rich and the poor in fact, they give way more money to the rich than they do the poor. But the rich convinces the middle class that it's the poor who's taken all of their money and not really the rich. Because the middle class can see the poor, but they don't see the rich so much. And so in the end, the rich will get richer, the poor will get poorer, and the middle class will always pay the bills. Does that help, son? He looked at me and he said, Dad, you are one boring teacher. Bro, he may be a boring teacher, but he got the thing right. That's exactly how it works. We can only do this so long. We can only do this so long. We need both classes to come together to finally get... Never mind. We're going to keep it going. I don't judge anyone that drinks, but I just really wonder what is the point of it. Like, sure, if you're going out to the club, you're going to the bars, and you're going to, like, pick up chicks, whatever, like... I kind of understand, like, if you're really going out and you have a full night designated to, like, drinking, sure, I get it. But, like, just casual drinking, like, you go out for dinner, you're spending 20, 30 bucks on drinks, you're just chilling in your pool, you feel the need to drink, like, I just don't, personally, I just don't get it. For me, like, alcohol makes me just tired, foggy, I can't think straight, and not to mention all of the health side effects. It literally destroys everything it touches, bro. Think about when you want to kill bacteria, you use alcohol. And the only question you really need to ask yourself is, why do they want me to have it so bad? It's at every convenience store, every corner store. There is a reason why they want you to have it, bro. Reject modernity. Wait, reject modernity? What is it? Embrace singularity. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Respond to that. Okay, interesting. Um, I brew my own alcohol. You guys already know this. I keep saying this all the time. We don't eat enough life. Yeah. Most of the food we eat is dead. Yep. I mean, when you cook everything to temperatures over 115 degrees Fahrenheit, you're killing the life in the food. It's, got, it's done. It's done. That's so why if, they say if it's all done. you eat is death, where do you get your nutrients? Right. Bro, this lady knows the thing. This is like that 74-year-old woman that appears much younger than she is, and she's super fit. Very interesting. So do the thing if you want to be like her. Or don't do the thing. It's all genetics. Or do whatever you please. And donate to the children? F no. You want to donate to the pets? F no. Controversial. You know when you go to like CVS or Target or something, they'll be like, donate five dollars to blah 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 charity. It's I don't like, say yeah, yeah anymore because I learned they've already paid this charity and you're paying the corporation back. What the hell? Yeah. So every time they're like, oh, five dollars to blah 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 blah, Target already paid. You're now paying Target back, and Target gets a freaking tax write off. So you just paying Target. That's whack. Whoa, I did not even know that was prepaid for. So we're just paying. Why are you even paying them back? They did that as a donation. We shouldn't even have to pay. They should have done that from their good will and for good fortune or something. I don't know.
interesting. I mean, at this point, I don't want any goons left behind. Adapt, adapt. If you need that digital clock, use the digital clock. You ain't gonna go buy this uh, classical clock just because you don't know how to tell time. Don't. Or this could be a skit, and they could be changing the face of the clock and upon viewing and after editing. And they could. People can't tell time. People can't tell time. We can't read clocks. I need that digital. I can read clocks, actually. I come from a time where I can read clocks. All right, we are at the end. How'd you do? A lot of crazy things in this one. A lot of interesting, a lot of um, better health and better uh, in yourself type things. Uh, interesting. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. There should be videos on the screen right now. Click on either one of them. Continue the goon fix. The one in the middle, you can subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Wake up, wake up, wake up.